Hey everybody and welcome back, certainly glad you could join me today. In this video we're going to look at creating impossible lighting using canvases. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my patrons and members, your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen. So canvases is an advanced rendering feature that you can use in Dash Studio, which will allow you to create 32 bit images with a specific focus to allow you to post process your images more effectively. What we're going to do today though, is we're going to use that functionality in a way that will allow us to create a specific kind of lighting setup on our character without having to manipulate the entire scene or mess around with masks. So as you can see, I've got a scene set up. I've got a character in the scene ready to go. And I'm going to render this straight out. And I'm in the advanced tab in the render settings tab. You will notice that there are three sub tabs there. Hardware, which allows you to choose what uh, you're going to, what hardware you're going to use, and then you've got canvases next to it. And uh, currently, this checkbox is not ticked, so that's what we're going to do. We hit that, and we're going to just simply create canvas beauty just by hitting the plus symbol there, like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come back into our scene and we're going to select everything that we want to render into the scene. So we've got those things, we've got that, but we don't want our character in the scene. So we've left her unchecked. And then where it says nodes here, we're going to select that and then we're going to just hit create from selection and that will create a new node list like that. <laughs> Uh, right, so the next step is simply to render this out and when we can see what our end result is going to be. So I've cancelled that render a bit early, but uh, this is only good for the demonstration purposes anyway. And as you can see, what's happened is it's rendered the entire scene except the character. The character's all in black. And this means that what we can do now is that we can render the character out on her own with whatever lighting we want and then simply superimpose it on top of this in Photoshop. And it will allow us to light the character in a way that maybe will draw more attention to the eye without affecting the rest of the scene. So let's jump in and do that now. So currently we have all of this scene in the way so what we can do is we can actually just simply turn off the visibility on that and remember which camera we're in and i'm actually not too fussed about the lighting that we've already got see if we jump into nvidia irate preview mode you can see that she's already got some lighting on her which i'm perfectly happy with but what i want to do is add a highlight around the back of her which would not be possible if we had the scene in the way. So we're gonna jump back into texture shaded mode like that. And then we're gonna go into our perspective view. And as you can see, there's our other light source there. And what I want to do is I'm gonna create a new plane by clicking on this shape like that looks like three shapes squished together. And I'm just gonna create a two meter by two meter one division plane, which is gonna appear here and I'm going to drag it into roughly the right place and then on the Z axis I'm going to rotate it either way it doesn't really matter so that it's 90 degrees like that and then we can drag it up into place so that it's nice and big on our character's back which is good just get that into roughly the right place and then in our surfaces tab we're going to expand and we're going to turn on the emission by selecting this bar here, turning on our emission like that. Going to change that to KCDM and then we're going to go into our camera again. And now what we want to do is quickly jump back into iRay preview mode and check that this isn't ridiculously bright and burning out all of the characters. Because we want this effect to be noticeable but not too overpowering. See, that's ridiculously powerful. So I think we're going to need to go down to about 25. Maybe that's a bit too low. Let's sort of experiment a bit here. Maybe come up to 
let's say 75 and then we're going to move this this plane so that it's not creating quite such a large shadow or not such a large highlight around that side of her we want it to kind of be behind and not overpowering there we go so i think that about works maybe we need to make it a touch more powerful let's just say 150 and see what happens there yeah that's cool so the effect is subtle but it is going to work so now what we're going to do is we're going to come back into our canvas and we're just this time going to select our character that we want rendering out and we've already got this canvas set up but we're going to remove that and we're going to add another one like this we're going to select the alpha channel there and then in nodes we're going to say create from selection but obviously i need to move mine off the screens momentarily just to do this so we're going to say create from selection hit accept like that now we're going to switch back to texture shading mode just to free up our gpu from trying to render what's on the screen and then all we need to do is hit render again so again we've stopped this render early and as you can see it's just rendered the character out on her own so we're going to change that to a png and this is the reason that we selected the alpha in the second render is so that it's given us a transparent file rather than a black background so now we can name this number two and then we're ready to jump into photoshop so we've opened our first file in Photoshop and as you can see we've still got a black shadow there and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag our second file on top of it, hit enter and then as you can see what's happened is we've got a, a, a lighting around the character that makes her stand out from the background and obviously we've sort of rushed through it and created kind of a weird effect but it kind of works. It makes her stand out more than if she were just embedded in the scene normally and you can sort of experiment around with different lighting setups maybe you want the light on her front to be brighter than it is without affecting the rest of the room but essentially that's really all there is to it thanks for watching this guys i hope you found that useful i'll be doing more videos on canvases very soon let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one thanks very much guys Bye bye